Alrighty. We are back. Hope you guys have had a chance to get up, walk around, get some water. And if you're watching this and you're supposed to be sleepy, go sleepy. Uh, I should be able to explain why I need to apologize pretty quickly. <laughs> I can also probably just show you why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let, let me, yeah, no, yeah, let me just show you why. Let me just show you why, uh, why I need to apologize a little bit. Um, round table. So, if you recall where we were last time on stream, I was, uh, right outside of, oh, what's her name? Millennia, Blade of Mikuela? Mikula? Uh We were right outside her arena. Right? And I was like, aw oh, man. And I was giving it... <laughs> I was giving it my good old good old college try and everything. I was like, aw oh, man. She's just too hard. This is very difficult. I'm gonna circle back and go find a way to buy um, upgrade materials so that we can sit down and try to find a different method for defeating her. And guess what I did? <laughs> On accident. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So right after we finished uh, on stream, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I went to go find out why EG wasn't spawning uh, and like where I could go get some of the uh, special bell bearings. Um, and I figured it out. I basically just had to go use, um, like a teardrop or something thing, right? Um, but I got a little ahead of myself with it and I, uh, <laughs> I used the teardrop and then I would go, I went to go talk back to EG and I was like, cool, great. EG's back. Ronnie is also back. Everybody's back. Be apparently, when I tried to attack um, Selvis, Selvis, what's his name? Perceptor, yeah, Perceptor Selvis, Saluvius. Um, apparently, that stopped her whole quest line. Even though his whole deal is about killing her, it stopped her whole quest line from me attacking just Perceptor Selvis. So. <laughs> EG left, Blythe left, Ronnie left. They all left, even though I went and got all the equipment and stuff I needed to. Um, and so I went I went to the Church of Vows, uh, and then I sat down and I used the little thing. And then I went to EG, and I bought the materials. And guess what I upgraded? Because I really wanted to see how well the weapon worked when it was upgraded, because everyone was talking it up. To all Hagen gone. I upgraded Rivers of Blood <laughs> to not to maximum, but one right before maximum. Um, and I was sitting here thinking, like, people are talking it up. It's a dexterity weapon. It probably won't be that great versus versus her. You know, like it probably won't be the world's best weapon against um, Millennia. Right? And so I, I'm sitting here going like, you know, it's fine. I'll, I just want to go give it a try, though. Because everybody's talking up this weapon. Everybody says it's great. I wanted to see if I could get close enough to beating her so that, like, come the next time we stream, I could just jump in real quick and be like, ha ha ha, check out how easy she is. And then make a joke about how Rivers of Blood is just that much more overpowered than literally every other weapon on the planet. And lo and behold, guess what ends up happening? It, without even trying, right? Without even trying at all, I annihilated her. Absolutely annihilated her. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. I think it's Dragon Temple to get to um, Placidukes or whatever. I really honestly forgot how to get to his Tempest Vice Balcony, maybe? I really honestly forgot how to get to his um, arena, how to get to his boss fight. But I 
I literally got her down to like 25 health, 25% health, and I was like, okay, this is a good time to stop. This has been, like, th this has been a joke, frankly. This has been a joke, you know? And, and I really, truly felt that way. I was like, you know what? This is a joke right now, you know? There's, there's no other way. This is 100% a joke, how easy this thing is to to kill her right like there's there's no there's absolutely no way i refuse to accept anything else you know um where is this beside the great bridge i'm gonna i'm gonna have to wiki it i'm sorry um but i you know and it, she got down to 25 percent health and i just accidentally hit my combo one more time and it it procced bleed damage on her again for the fourth time in in the span of like you know 30 seconds <laughs> or it felt like that at least right um and before i knew it she was at like 10 more health before she died and my um mimic sat down and killed killed her right and i i was awestrucken I was literally sitting there for 20 minutes going, I have absolutely no idea, absolutely no idea how I was able to pull that off just that easily. So I'm sorry, but apparently if you sit down and you use Rivers of Blood, even if you have the bare minimum requirements, because I barely have the level of requirements I need for it. Even if you have the bare minimum requirements, it, it is still just, it is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, okay, real, real quick, I'm gonna focus in. From the, beside the Great Bridge, Matt, uh, okay, beside the Great Bridge. Uh, turn around, take the elevator back down into the church, go past the beastmen and exit the church, head straight ahead out of the church towards the cluster of trees and look over the, oh, oh, okay. I think I know where to go now. Um, but man, I, I was absolutely baffled. I was 100% absolutely baffled how much damage I was able to just like feed into her. And because it also knocks her back as well, right? Like it has this like subtle knockback effect on her. Um, it was, it was just 100% a joke. It was just 100% an absolute joke how much damage I was able to just dip out on her, you know? Because I would hit her and then, uh, I'm pulling up chat real quick here. I would hit her and then she would get knocked back and then I would continue the combo and she'd get knocked back again. And then she'd try to go up and do, you know, river foul dance or whatever. And I would get the blood proc on her. <laughs> And then she'd fall down, and then I'd hit her with another combo, and then she'd fall down! And, and it was just, it was, it was absolutely, it was atrocious how easy it was. Frankly, it was atrocious how easy it was with Rivers of Blood. I, I felt like, honestly, it, it wasn't even worth my time. Just to prove it to you how stupidly overpowered it can be, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the stuff that I need to get and be able to use it for this fight, for the dragon. And I will probably, I'm not gonna guarantee, but I will probably be able to beat it first try, just because of how crazy easy it is. One, once you have Rivers of Blood. Um, I don't need strength any dex. Well, that doesn't actually give me dex. Um, just give me intelligence, though. And blood damage up, yep, 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 yep. yep. Yep, I think we're good. I think we're good? Yeah, I mean, as long as we're fast as well. Um, but... I, I was honestly flabbergasted. I was honestly 100% flabbergasted. Because uh, everybody was saying online, like, Man, Rivers of Blood is, is crazy OP. It's such a good weapon. It's so great. And I was, like, looking at its stats, and it's like, Oh, it does, like... 30 blood damage, you know, 30 points blood damage on stuff when you hit it. And then it's got this corpse piler move, which is, it like looks okay. It looks like a decent move set, but 
Corpse Piler, as well, I don't think requires you to use health at all. And so it's like, it's this combo that has a huge range that does blood damage, and you're able to sit down and do it without taking any, like, you know, ill health effects from it. Like, it, it seriously blew me away. It, like, not, like I'm, I'm being crazy honest. It blew me away how easy it was to defeat Millennia with that. And frankly, because it was that easy to beat Millennia with, with the Rivers of Blood, at, at New Game Plus, right, with admittedly some pretty decent health, but I mean... I got hit like once during the fight, you know, <laughs> right? Like health didn't really help me out much. Um, but like, as long as you can hit minimum specs with rivers of blood, it's frankly atrocious to use anything other than rivers of blood versus her because it's, it just, it's just so good. It's just that good against her. We might honestly even see if we can help some people online using Rivers of Blood and Corpse Piler. Just so that I could sit there and be like, check it out, you should use this weapon. I know it's super cheesy, but you should just use it. <laughs> uh, so if you're watching at home, even though I do not have a good way to show it off other than to try and fight this dragon with Corpse Piler, uh, you should definitely 100% uh, use Corpse Piler against Millennia. <laughs> Rawr. I am too god. Ow. Yeah, Dragon Lord's a little bit more. Dragon Lord requires a little bit more. That's concentrating a little bit. require a little bit of concentration. Because his moves can do a lot of damage really quick. Oh, come on with that fire move. Oh, and it also does fire damage, which is what she is, uh... It's what she's weak to. Right? So, like, you're doing fire damage, and you're doing blood damage, and you're doing all this stuff. It, it's frankly just... it's a cakewalk. Right? Rivers of Blood just makes it a cakewalk. Combo is him using his laser gun too. So once he gets down to low health, he starts using his laser gun. Ouch! Ow! What the heck was that? What was that hitbox? Dragon Lord? Okay, I'm starting to get a little frustrated with your massive hitboxes from lightning. Uh, this is good. I'm pretty sure this is what this is down and definitely this is. Okay. Yep, this is his laser beam one. Oh! Well, Rivers of Blood is not a say-all, do-all. Dra Dragon Lord is still somewhat difficult. <laughs> Largely only because of his, his, his laser move. That's really the only thing. Um, well, let's see. Let's get all equipped and ready for him. Uh, mix. Steadily restores. 
Superstars HP when near death. Uh, I think I need to switch that out for this one. I think I need to switch it out for that one. Um, and then I am going to just go back to my standard set. Because um, it does a lot more direct physical damage, which is more important to him. Plus, I don't think that the fire damage does much to him at all either. Um, oh, I don't know if I did try that on stream or not, but we also tried to sit down and use and use frost buildup, frost and bleed, and it worked pretty well for a while, but then it stopped working so well. <laughs> <coughs> Anyhow. Up, 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 up. Where is it? Okay. Let's get the good old standard set on. Uh, blood loss and vicinity. Oh, we also killed um, Millicent. Uh, I I didn't get her prosthesis last time, her her um, talisman. So I decided to just go ahead and kill her early. Uh, I only did like one or two steps and then decided to kill her. Cause that's all you really need to do uh and i fought like a godskin noble to do it too so it wasn't really honestly you weren't really missing much it was just me running over to where she starts giving her the the needle and then running back over and you know going to where she goes and then just calling it a day you know killing her and it's just like ah it's so you didn't really miss much with with millicent's quest line we didn't even take it all the way to the end I just took it as far as I needed it to go in order to get her prosthesis um, talisman. That's it. So we still have a couple more quest lines that we can sit down and finish up. Um, I'm going to give Plasduix, Plasaudix, Plusadaudix. We're going to give him a couple more tries. Um, I'm going to try with just my standard set this time. If we can't do it, I think we're going to try and finish up some of the last quests instead. Um, and then from that point, uh, we're going to switch over to my other profile where I'm doing a pure magic build. It's kind of like a magic, um, kind of a magic physical build because it's not so easy to get magic early on in the game, apparently. Um, so <laughs> we're going to have to figure that out. And I also forgot to move my flasks over. Get out of here with the big lightning. Get out of here with your big lightning. Get out of here with your big lightning. Get out of here with your big lightning. Yeah, look at how much more direct damage that does. I am a little upset, if I'm going to be honest, that they decided to take out the mechanic of getting a weapon from dragon creatures uh, if you cut its tail off. That doesn't seem to be a thing. What was that? I don't remember that. Yeah, every attack with this does some direct physical damage. Frankly, better. <laughs> yeah, because then he's gonna sit up this, and run up, stabby, a bunch of damage out on him. Rush back. Using rivers of blood, this is significantly more consistent so far. He's getting pretty close.
No! Ah! Oh, I needed that boost for this move! Okay, we, we survived. As long as I can beat that move, it's not that hard of a boss, end of the day. Okay, well that's not fair. of the Dragon Lord. Remember the Dragon Lord. <laughs> uh, we also didn't get the gold needles, so I don't, I don't have the, um, I don't have the key item to use in his arena. Just to show you guys, I got the mending rune in perfect order. I did get that. Um, but yeah, we do not have the. Um, what is that? Yeah, no, we don't have the needle, so. No can do with reversing the effects. Because we killed the girl that we needed the needle from to get her thing. It's okay, though, because even if you do reverse the effects here, you can't prevent the game. Like, you can't, like, get a different ending in the same run. Uh, which is kind of upsetting. Um, I think let's level up. I do want to level up my arcane, just so that maybe I can potentially use Rivers of Blood just in a future playthrough if I ever end up deciding to do it. Um, and just keep my strength build as is. Uh, probably honestly should have put it towards strength, but it is what it is. We're able to do a pretty decent amount as is right now. And until you start getting to like really further in the game, then it's not a problem really. Uh, we need to deal with, uh, Alexander. How do we get to Alexander? Dragon Temple Transept. Dragon Temple Altar. Dragon Temple Altar? Dragon Temple. I go to one of these, and then I turn back around. It's where the dragon sits and attacks you. I can't remember precisely where that is. I think it's earlier than this point. But fighting Alexander is probably next on our list. And then we have Selen's quest line, which I think, if I do her quest, that I am able to... I am able to... Because he's on this roof, I'm pretty sure. That roof? What roof is he on? Oh, also, there was a discovery online that I found out about recently. Did you see, if you see this, like, big giant rock thing formation in front of me, that's apparently where, that's apparently the corpse of Dragonlord. So the dude that we just sat and killed, his corpse is actually just stuck up and inside there, uh, from what people say and or speculate. So, 
it's kind of a cool little moment there, I'd say. Um, let's go to Transept real quick, and let's see, because you go to one of these, and then you basically run out. Um, and then you turn around. Oh, that's meaningless. How did we do that? Dragon Temple? How do I get to Alexander again? Now I gotta look it up, but I look like a big bean head. Big dummy. Uh, search. Uh, world information. PCs. Uh, Alex Schlander. Iron Fist Alexander. Uh, cause we gotta finish Alexander's quest line to beat, um, the other pots questline. Not skip step. Can be found in northern Stormhill. Criminal for Lazuna. From the Dragon Temple Lift Grace. Can be accessed by using two stoneward keys. Go past the plaza. Full of undead up the flight of stairs. Turn right and you'll see two square bracket shaped archways. Jump at the archway. One of the left closest is the sleeping dragon to get over the other side. Alexander can be found directly on the flat area. Ar arena? After crossing the crumbling tower. Mm. Maybe I shouldn't go deal with Alexander. That just kind of like wastes some of the... That's just going to waste some of my stuff. And the only thing that I get out of it, I think, is is innards and the shard of Alexander and that I don't think that um, Jar Baron gives you anything significant Jar Baron reload the area once again speak to Jar Baron you'll speak about going on a journey to become a warrior jar give them Alexander's innards which you'll receive upon completing Alexander's quest line I'll reload the area again. Receive the Champion Jar Talisman, which I've been completely seated. You can also find the Alos's Mask and Petal Whip. Middle of town. We already got that. Uh, so no worries. Yeah, and then we already got the Champion Jar Talisman, so... I think we're actually good with Jar Baron. He doesn't give us any, like, upgrade materials or anything that's worth our time. So it's, it's kind of just a waste. I think it's kind of just a waste. Because <laughs> we just end up wasting... Um, Stone sword keys, which there's only so many of. Um, I do know that if we do Selen's quest line, though, that we get some good stuff. And then Ronnie's quest line, I think we also get some good stuff too. Um, I'm trying to pull up. Uh, I'm trying to pull up Selen's quest line. I kind of forgot where we were with Selen. Oh! You know, I don't want to do that tonight. I know what we have to do with Selen. We have to go all the way up to... Um, I know what we have to do with Selen. I don't want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that right now. So with Selen's quest line, we have to go all the way back over to the volcano. Um... We have to go to Primeval Sorcerer Azure, talk to him, run back, talk to Selen again. After we talk to Selen, she tells you to go find the other master, which is in... I think it's this one, Celia Hideaway. So you have to doodly 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 all the way over to Celia Hideaway. And then once you get to Celia Hideaway and you, and you talk to him, then you go back to her... And she's like, hey, check it out. There's this, like, puppet of mine. And then you go from there, which I have not gone down into this area yet, to the Tomb Sword Cave. Um, or, sorry, not Tomb Sword. You go to Witchbane Ruins. Uh, and then you can also talk to What's-His-Face um, during the Radon Festival. I think he's still technically over in that area. 
Um, and then you go and you you do the Witchbane ruins, and then the guy comes and is like, ah, I killed her, but it didn't seem correct because she was already dead, more or less. And then you go all the way back up to Rhea Lucaria, and then you finish out the last good couple bits of her quest. And it is... It's a slog. It's a slog. Just for some upgrade materials. Because I've gotten everything else. I've gotten everything else. Uh, let's just roll through all the quest lines. Maybe I should sit down and do it really quick. I don't know, though. Uh, Roger is dead by this point. D is dead by this point. Because we pushed Fia's quest line, I guess, uh, unknowingly by going and um, getting down to the dragon zone down there uh, underground. Uh, Corwin, I'm pretty sure we finished Corwin's quest. I'm pretty sure I finished his quest. Let me just make sure. Uh, can that be found in one of the two possible locations? So I will check here first. Lindell, Capital of Ash. Oh, no, no, yeah. Okay, so we did meet him at the Capital of Ash. He was all upset and then he died. Uh, Beast Clergyman, we have not met yet. And giving him all the death roots, I have already done in a different playthrough. In the first playthrough. Um. It might be worth doing again to get the ancient dragon smithing stone. I don't know. I don't know. I do kind of know. I kind of don't want to do it. Because <laughs> it involves going over. It involves going all around the map and fighting a bunch of nonsense. That is just not really the funnest thing in the world. Ah. Uh... Just to get one equipment upgrade. I don't know if it's honestly even worth it. I honestly don't know if it's even worth it. Now that I'm in the new game plus, it really just kind of feels not worth it to sit down and try and get some of these upgrade materials and things. Because that's the only reason I would sit down and do his quest line. Maybe we'll do quest lines for another night. Um, I think I might switch over to just my other account for the last 30 some odd minutes or so. Um, so we can play with our... Play with our magic wielding uh, setup. Uh, Night Burnal. Uh, Renala. Quick full moon. Uh, Padilla is dead at this point, I think. Oh, actually, Padilla might be alive. I don't think it really matters whether or not he's alive because he's just a uh, sells. Per he just sells stuff. And he doesn't sell anything if you do any, like, quest line relevant stuff. Uh, Yura's dead by this point. Alexander is alive, but we're not going to bother because you don't get any good upgrade materials or things. Um... Oh! <coughs> I forgot. Uh, we might actually go talk to White Mask Bear because... He takes us to Moog. He's the easiest way to get to Moog. Um, I think... Uh, possible is also the corpse of Chuckle and Uh, Margaret the Fell Moment. Oh no, after the There's Bouquet, Catch Flame, During Combat. Wait, I feel like I did his quest in the current lane. Where's the finger? It tells you to use the finger three times. Once you return, Blood Soaked Favor, he wards you the Bloody Finger, Pure Knight's Metal, Moog Lord of Blood. Yeah, how do we get to Moog Lord of Blood? I kind of forgot. Mogwin's Palace. Uh, confound the Mogwin Palace for the dynasty of Mausoleum. Entrance side of Grace. Follow the stairs upwards. Here 
Is this passive on putrid corpses? No. How do I get there? Moguin's Palace. Uh, the Waygate teleporter to Moguin's Palace is found northeast of the yellow annex ruins in the consecrated stone field. Oh, that's right. The Waygate is inactive until after you kill a sanguine noble NPC who invades nearby. So my options are to go do some online stuff, which I haven't shown you guys how bad I'm going to be with online play. hey -oh. Um... So we could do some online stuff and try to set up for the white mask guy, or uh, we can just basically go straight there to try and fight the boss. Uh, you know, okay. Okay. We're gonna go to Boil Prawn Shack. I'm going to go, I'm going to attempt to try and do one uh, invasion. I'm going to attempt to do one invasion. If we if we win in the invasion, which I highly doubt at the level that I'm am, if we win in the invasion, then I will go ahead and do another one. Uh, if we lose in if we lose to it, uh, what do I do? Do lists. If you leave a second symbol sign, that will vanish. Okay, so just attempt to invade. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Immediately? We're just doing it immediately? Long story short, if I win, I'll keep doing it. But if I lose even a single time, which is probably going to happen really quick. I'm excited. I, I actually have only done this like once or twice. Um, if I lose... Then we're just going to go to the Consecrated Snowfield and see if we can rush him down. Oh no. Oh no. Is that... Is he... Accusant? Host of Fingers defeated? Oh! I didn't even get a chance to attack! Getting all high pitched and everything. I didn't even get a chance to attack him. Oh, that's sad. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta give it one more. Well, I mean, I guess I do according to the rule I set up, where if I win, I have to keep trying. Um, dude, dude. All right, all right. Okay, we'll, we'll keep trying. Keep trying to invade. I don't know what I'm going to do in the meantime, though. I don't really... Oh. I don't really have anything that I can do in the meantime. Oh, we're attempting. We're attempting to invade another world. I have... I So, just to lay the groundwork. I never... I never do online with any of Squaresoft's games. I I actually turn it off when I play Dark Souls 1 through 3. I, I either turn it off or I never use humanity to like bring my health back up or anything. Um, simply because I absolutely hate that there, there are so many people in these games who have the game just figured out. They have it just 100% figured out, even down to like down down to like the mechanics of the game and knowing what frames to use. Right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna lose. Just to let you know, I'm gonna lose. I don't have a good build. My only build is this blood build that I have. In it, it's just a strength blood build. There's nothing fancy. I guess I do have my magic that I could just bounce on him. Uh-oh. 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 They saw me. They saw me. Oh, these guys are gonna just... These guys are gonna flop house! Ah! These 
his eyes are gonna flatten me! Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay, we're not doing this. <laughs> so just to reiterate the fact why I don't play online. <laughs> Dude, I'm terrible online. I am absolutely terrible online. If we do any online stuff, I'm gonna have to go look up. I am going to have to go look up a build. And, and try and do that build because I am tragic with online stuffs. Oh man, 100%, 100%, not even a joke. I am tragic, 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 tragic with online in these games, man. I can beat the bosses just fine. I can beat all the NPCs and stuff in the game just fine. Once it gets to online stuff where anything goes and you have these people who have masterfully created builds and stuff, it's just game over. It's just game over. There's there's nothing I could do at that point. So <laughs> Well, I we'll get okay, we'll give it one more try uh, at the end of stream. How about that? We'll we'll give I will sit down and try to put together a, a little bit of a better build that seems more directed um, at the end of the stream. Not right now, though. Right now, we have to go sit and try and figure out Moog. Um, which... I can't remember if it's past these trees or not. Yeah, I think it is further up where the mine is. <clears throat> um, but yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I'm bad at online. Maybe I should just put my rivers of blood on and, and just try and snap them that way. I know it's I know it's cheesy and I know it's like bad juju to like use that uh, against people, but you know what? I mean, I might as well. I might as well just be that noob. Might as well just be that online noob who's like, I got rivers of blood, though. I might as well do it. I might as well do it. Uh, it's further up, then. Where... I know it's along this edge that I sit down and get to the uh, teleporter. I know it's along this edge. Oh, hi. I know for a fact it's along this edge. Sleepy bear. Ow. Okay, I think it's... I think it's here? It has. It pushed me off my horse. Sanguine Noble. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So it is here. Where does he spawn? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I am much better at blood loss than you. All right. Okay, well, that was actually getting a little hairier than I wanted it to be. Eh, sanguine noble. Ow! What was that? Ow, get out of here, you goo monster. Why Why do the male? It looks like the males in this game, who are the Albanerics, are all these, like, squid fish people. But then... 
it's just like normal human women who are like the women in the tribe or whatever. I know there's probably some lore behind it, like of of like how the mages sat down and, and did some nonsense to them. But it is just still a little wet and wild, don't you think? Oh, what is this? I don't remember starting in Dark Zone. Okay, so last things last. We're going to go and fight Moog, and hopefully we're going to be able to beat him. Uh, and then there's going to be some, like, last couple quest stuff. Um, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to sit down and finish out any of the last quest stuff tonight. Depending on how long it takes to kill Moog, I'm going to swap over to my other... Um, my other save files so that we can go ahead and try to do something as more of a magic build to get the ending with Ronnie, and then that that will 100% finalize um, the game. Uh, so then I will have 100% on all of the achievements, <laughs> which is what I want. Oh, if you want to know, that's where a lot of people online sit down and try to uh, grind. I don't get it, honestly. Because I set up a macro in in a different spot. <laughs> if you go underground under Lindell, right before you get to the arena where it gives you the dragon to fight, um, and where Leah, go Leah? Leah? Leah goes? Um, just right in that area, uh, there are a couple of the giant um, statues that just sit there and take it. And you can just walk backwards and fire a bunch of missiles at these um, guys, and they'll just do nothing. So I set up a macro to just sit and do that off and on for hours. That's how I grind. <laughs> how do I get up there? Oh, please. Oh, please. Get out of here, you goober. Hey, this is immediately not fair. We are we are in unfair territory. <laughs> we are in unfair territory. Oh my goodness! No! <laughs> Why does it have an attack that it could just jab at you twenty times? Oh my gosh! How do I get up to Moog? This is so agitating. I've done it before. I just can't remember. Ugh, how do I get to Moog? Cause I, I don't think... I don't think it's right there. And then that led to a cliff. So how do I get up to... Is that a little walkway up there? So maybe I'm not even supposed to go into that river of blood. Maybe I'm supposed to go up and try and deal with that walkway or something. Oh, it's been so long. When you only do something once, and then you just kind of forget about it for the rest of the game, this is what happens. You, you sit down and you're like, ah, yes, now what? Because <laughs> there's a spot to go over here I don't have to deal with. White mask at all. Yeah, 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 okay. So I probably could just go through this way. Oh! I hope I go through this way, otherwise this is... Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, so this is where we go. <laughs> I'm avoiding them all on purpose because I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I just want to get through this zone and go fight Moog. Especially because I want to sit down and hopefully do some time on my other account. So that we can maybe get closer to 100% of the game or something. I'm just doing this for my own personal sakes because when I beat the when I beat all the bosses in my first playthrough, I was just kind of like, ah, cuz some of them took a couple hours, and I was like, oh man, I really want to just like destroy some of these bosses. But some of the late game bosses were very difficult. <laughs> like Moog, um Millennia was pretty bad. Um who else was bad? I guess the final boss was just pretty bad to deal with too. There are so many enemies here. I totally forgot. There's like a billion enemies here. Um. Thrax, you're back! Welcome, Thrax. I try my best not to make 
I tried my best not to make this uh, an Elden Ring only stream that I do. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully some other stuff will start to show. But hopefully they'll also get their um, DLC going here too, because I will play the heck out of the DLC once that happens. Because this game is awesome. Th there's no square inch of this game that I don't want to learn more about. <laughs> and I've always... I don't subscribe to them for some weird reason, but I always look up different, like, lore videos and stuff all the time on this game. And, and on anything, really. Um, there's... I think his name is Viet Video that I sit down and watch quite a bit of his stuff to try and get lore ideas and, like, knowledge on. Um... But I just, I just love these games. I love everything Squaresoft makes. Apparently, they also made... Um, uh, I think it was by Squares... Or not Squaresoft. What do I think it's Squaresoft? FromSoft. I think FromSoft also made... Um, some of the... Armored Core games. I'm pretty sure they made some of the Armored Core games too. I'm going to have to double check on that, but... It also has a very similar, like, style of play to Dark Souls, apparently, where you have to sit down and, like, make a mech, and, like, every piece you put on means something. Uh, I... Oh, I don't have anything to deal with this Nihil attack. Oh. Uh, I don't have anything to deal with this Nihil attack. <laughs> That's great. That's good. All right, whatever. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Just to try and beat him. <laughs> try and beat him with the heal attack or not. Oh, also, I never went behind his arena after I beat him. Like, if you see those two fog walls, I never went behind his arena for some stupid reason or another. And I really want to beat Moog again so I can go check out what's behind him. <laughs> Because I never noticed until I was, like, looking up on YouTube other people fighting this boss. that apparently, there's this huge... Not a huge zone. It's probably not that big. But there's a zone behind there. Ah! But it's, it's really nice to see you, Thrax. I love you. I love you for the time. Ah! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do the cheese way. We're gonna cheese him. Ah. That does so much damage. No, not Steak America. Not Steak America. We need to go change our physic out. Uh, there is a physic tier that if you use, uh, it just destroys him apparently. Midpoint or midpoint. Uh, there's a physic that you can use that basically completely negates blood damage. Um, and it makes this fight just... Completely, it just makes it a joke once he gets to his Nihil attack. Uh, it's this one. Purifies the Lord of Blood's curse in a mixed physic. So, if you have this on, his Nihil attack basically does zero damage. I mean, it still does damage. Like, it's it still, you know, has... your You still run into issues. But, um, yeah, it basically makes this, this fight just an absolute dream. Look at this guy. They just don't even care. Look at this big bearded wizard looking fella. I still don't know who that is. I've seen a lot of lore videos and I still don't know who that guy is. Uh, I don't know if he's supposed to be what uh, Moog is supposed to look like without all his horns and stuff. I don't know if it's supposed to be the dude who's in the cocoon. Uh, I really honestly, frankly, don't know. Uh, other than his Nahil attack. <laughs> this should be pretty, pretty easy. Alright, here we go. Mope, you have another thing coming, friend. Right. 
already put a scare drop down. Frankly, this game just becomes silly. This game just becomes crazy easy. <laughs> once you get to uh, once you get to New Game Plus and you have a high level, this game just becomes a joke. <laughs> Yeah, use the heal. Look at that, it only does like 10 damage. And then you can attack him while he's doing the move. Oh, 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 oh. That was okay. And you can attack him while he's doing the move, so it like doesn't even really give him a lot of health back. Ah! Ah! This is such a cool fight though. I love all his moves. It has like fire and this big delayed attack. Ah, he's so cool. He's so cool. I'm sorry, Mahook. I'm over leveled. Apparently. I actually am a little sad that this game has just been super easy to deal with. Like, this, this game has been honestly something of a joke in New Game Plus when you're... When you're all the way leveled up and you know the weaknesses of every boss, it's honestly kind of a joke to get through New Game Plus. Now, New Game Plus 4 or something... <laughs> That's a different scenario, but... Yeah, there's this guy here. Would he please? Oh, he's actually wearing a ring. I never noticed. What's that ring? Who is he married to? Can't get a good shot of it. it keeps... Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, it still applies the... It still applies the buffer, even if you use the... The zoom in. Yeah, what's behind his arena? I don't think I ever went behind here. It's just a giant cocoon. Oh, is it just a big drop off? What's the point of even making behind the arena a, a, an ability? Jumping required ahead. Yeah, okay. No jumping ahead. Exactly. Exactly. No jumping ahead. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is an absolutely lovely view, one way or another, but it does beg the question. See, I think that is probably one of the coolest visuals in the entire game, is seeing the the Eternal City of Nakron from anywhere down in this area. You can see this just giant hanging city. It, it reminds me of like the hanging city that they have in um, Avatar The Last Airbender, where they start getting attacked by, by the boom guy. Mr. Boomy, or not, not Mr. Boomy, but just like the guy who can shoot lasers from his head. It reminds me of that city a lot, and I just there's there's something that I really love about it. I love the aesthetic of cities that are just hanging from from ceilings and things. Um, but yeah, that was that was actually really quick. I'm I'm pretty thoroughly surprised. Ah, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and just jump off of this file and. Go jump into my magic file, see if we can try and get further in that. And if it takes way too long and it's just too frustrating, <laughs> over the course of multiple streams to, to play this new file, uh, I might just go ahead and, and push New Game Plus 2 and then just run to the end. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Penelope. Uh, I'm not good at naming characters. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Uh, when I met, um, when I met, uh, what's her face? I'm sure she's here. I think I sent her over. Uh, yes, when I met her, what is your name? Rodrika. <laughs> when I met Rodrika, I was just like, ah, man. See, she looks nothing like her. When I, <laughs> when I met Rodrika, uh, when I started this file, or when I started my very first playthrough, I was like, Ah, oh, are we gonna get this like cool magic user that I can run around the game with and have this cool quest line? And she's cool in her own right. She's able to help with a lot of stuff in her own right. But um, wow, I've actually accomplished quite a bit. Um, but <laughs> with Rodrika, it's just kind of like I don't know. I don't know with Rodrika. I, I really like Rodrigo a lot. I just get upset about her ending because she's just like, I'm just, I have nothing to do in life, so I'm just going to die with the dude who's gone insane. <laughs> it's 
It's like, okay, do that. Uh, did I get a key to... I have not gotten a key yet. And I still have the Academy Scroll, which I shouldn't have. Uh, we need to go up there, then. So, three and the two. We need to go get some more spells, if we can. Because I don't have a lot of good stuff, I just have the arc. Slicer, glue blade. Actually, I have a pretty decent amount of stuff, but... I need to go get better spells. <laughs> you would not believe how difficult it is. It's actually surprisingly pretty difficult to get through the game with spells. Every other game I've played in Dark Souls, the first couple bosses or so have always been pretty easy if you're a spellcaster. Because all you have to do is just sling a couple spells at it and then it's just game over. But in this game, it's not easy for some reason to be a spellcaster for the first little while. Uh, it's actually surprisingly pretty hard. Um, but... It, it's one of those things, I guess, that comes with the territory, so... What do you do? Um, but I'm gonna go give this... I'm gonna go hand this off to our f giant tortoise friend! I love the giant tortoise. Oh, man. I wish there was more giant... If they do DLC, they better make more giant tortoise. They, be they better make, like, a, a small subsect or something that's, like, the giant tortoise sect. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he he's basically represents the Golden Order and everything, and he's like, ah, anything goes as long as it's Golden Order, but I want there to be more Tartus. More Tartus! Oh, man. Our time is actually getting pretty close. We're at about... We're at about an hour with Elden Ring, too. And it's getting pretty late where I'm at. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and hit up the Tortoise on this new file... Um, I'm gonna get the key to the Academy, and if it doesn't take too long, and if I just rush through the Academy, um, then I should be able to sit and get to the dog fight, at least. So I should be able to go fight the dog, um, the giant wolf. Uh, so I think that's where we're gonna set end of the night goal, is to get to the wolf. Because basically from point A to point B, it's just going to be me running from point A to point B. I'm just trying to get you to where I need to go. Welcome. I am. My apologies for the... Do you know how it came to... Well, that is a... The shattering has caused us. It is here. By the matron... Ba ba ba, Nala, Ray Lucaria. Oh, you are free. I would see if you find anything. Unless... Ba ba in which ba ba case... Ba ba I ba I'll let you know. Uh, give scroll. Give oh, the Academy scroll. Very well. Let us heresy is all thing. Let's do these sorcery. I don't have any of these, but I also don't have any, um, uh, don't have any runes. I pick a. How many runes does that give you, though? Oh, 7,500. They show you now? That's so good. That's so good. So I can get about 10,000 or so. Is there I can get about 11,000. So 10,000, so I can get carry and greatsword. Perform sweeping slash using magical greatsword. Create sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay. Fires larger magic projectiles. So swift and great. I gotta get that great glintstone shard though. Gives me three thousand. I gotta get the great Is one. Some? That's gonna be very useful. And then the swift one, maybe I can find a way to get that to work, but it's just a good thing to shove all my runes into for a minute. Uh, gold sewing needle. Oh, that's where you get the gold sewing needle and stuff. So once we jump back and we have to go deal with, um, what's his dingle dangle? We will give him a sewing needle. Uh, but we gotta go get that key. We gotta go get the key to the academy.
and then it should just be a short walk through the academy until we get to the um, the I wish I remembered its name, but just basically the giant wolf fight. Sorry, I'm losing a little bit of steam today. Steam, steam. Ah, I'm still, still, I'm still, still upset that they took Fall Guys out of steam the day that it went free. So everybody who was looking forward to sitting down and playing Fall Guys, day one, once it went free, they couldn't do it. <laughs> they just decided, oh, let's not do that. Let's just have Fall Guys be on Epic Game Store. And it won't be on anybody's wish list or anything because yeah, we don't care about our customers. We just want the money. We just want the money. Kind of like how I'm just running around grabbing this money. Real quick. Upgrades are not as important, but. Getting the money so I can sit and buy uh, more spells is very important. Running around in this giant game. Dragon is coming to hurt me now. Oh, okay, it's just sleeping there. Yay! Goodbye, giant dragon. See you another day, jerk. Actually, yeah, definitely. I will see him another day because I think if I kill him, he gives me a cool dragon move. Does magic damage. Oh, I was gonna say, it is very difficult to make a feminine face in this game. I'm gonna say that 100% of the way. When I sat down and I was trying to make this character from scratch, I could not, for the life of me, make her look feminine. <laughs> I had to... Oh, it's... it's. Do I have something on my flasks? I'm lighting up my flasks. Interesting. I haven't seen that. Uh, two, six, two should be fine. Memorize spell. So I got pebble. FB cost is a little bit more, but it's a little quicker. Uh, 12. Yeah, and then we'll keep the sweeper just in case. The slicer is nice. And then glint blade phalanx is nice too. Uh, I don't think I have an enchanted sword. Oh, I do, because I have Roger's rapier. Okay, so I do have an enchanted sword. Thanks for the meeting place, Matt. You're really helping out there, bud. <laughs> Alright, pressure's on with time. Let's get up to that wolf, and let's fight that wolfie wolfie. And then I also gotta find the, um... We're probably not gonna find it tonight. I'm, I'm probably just not even gonna bother. Um, but there is also another scroll in here for better... Um... Better magic moves. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see.
Uh, probably gonna go silent for a hot minute. I'm starting to really... I'm starting to really get soaked into my chair here. It's getting late. I have work tomorrow. That is the slowest door opening animation. Look at this champion running around with two giant maces. That doesn't seem right. Oh, here's the lift. Okay. Ah! You silly dog! That's where I get the gravity magic, so I might want to fight him eventually. Not right now. We are strapped for time. Okay, then here's where I'm gonna rest, because after this race, we go fight the wolf! If I beat the wolf toot sweet, I will rush up to, um, Renala. Just that I can have it ready for next time or something. Is it Radigan's source seal that I have on me right now? Oh, Ritual Pot. I don't need Ritual Pot right now. Spirit Jelly! Ow! Spirit Jelly! Heal. Do some damage, Spirit Jelly! Dodging all of my moves. How upsetting. Stop dodging my moves. Oh, oh, get real. Get real. Oh, carry in the slicer. Carry in slicer. I forgot that the wolf jumps around your attacks, so I'm going to have to sit down and probably just use Roger's thing. Roger's um, doodler. And then carry in slicer. And then jelly was a good move, but... Do I have something better than jelly? I have, I have three lone wolves. I could try the wolves. Maybe the skeletal militia man will be better. Maybe skeletal militia man will be better. Because they can revive themselves and they also hold aggro pretty well. I hate to make this just a physical situation, but this is really the best that I have. <laughs> ah, he annihilated them. But again, though, look, they got back up. So. It'll be nice for them to go back up for a hot minute. Nope. No, 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 no,
They're barely asking for aggro. <laughs> it's barely giving me enough time to sit down and just heal. Okay, I'm out of heals. Does that count? It counted. It counted. That counted. That 100% counted. I can't believe that counted. I can't believe that counted. That's ridiculous. I... I... I'm honestly, I'm in some level of shock. That's, that seems like something that should not have counted. That seems like something that sh super shouldn't have counted. I guess I, I guess it's just cause I got the final blow on him instead of him getting the final blow on me. Oh, that's the same purple pattern that you can find on the secret hidden um, thing. There's like a secret hidden way to get a cape in this game that you're not supposed to know about. Uh, we're gonna push mind. Intelligence? We're gonna push intelligence. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, but I have six, six grand. I have six grand. We're actually gonna go... We're gonna go zip back to the Church of Vows so I can get some more... Um, Equip to mint. Get some more spells. Church of Owls. Greeting. I need you. Glint blade. No, I wanted to carry a great sword. That's what I want. Um. So I need three thousand. Roughly, I need 3,000 more. There we go. There some Pushes me just over the top. There we go. Now I got a carry and slicer. Yeah. We're going to go set up for Renala. Because um, it is kind of annoying to sit and have to try and get up to Renala. Uh, oh, I also have another slot, too. That's right. Uh, does this take up more than one slot? Doesn't. Schoolhouse classroom, domain parlor. Here we go. Actually, I think it is just straight from debate parlor up to her. I don't think that there's anything else to it. Well, I can get the shield from what's his face, who's up on this ramp. Who I could just kill with the, the boulders. Oh, and then also, I think I should be able to push into the volcano. Um. Should be able to push into the volcano zone now that I'm here, too. Thanks. I don't want to do that. Not, not in the middle of me trying to figure this out. That wasn't cool. Did they reprogram him not to come out here anymore? Get out of here.
Oh! Fight me! <laughs> okay, well, get run over by the thing. But fight me! Fight me, carry a knight! <laughs> fight me! <laughs> Don't you use that potion, friend. No! Face me! <laughs> Are you not entertained? Guy, get your booty out here. Come get ran over by the boulder. All right, we'll do it your way this time. I wanted you to be crushed by a boulder. <laughs> You've taken that from me, sir. You've taken that from me. Uh, yeah, let us just straight to Renala. I'm not going to attempt Renala tonight. I think we are done for the night. We are almost at... We're almost at about an hour 30. And me going over... All the stuffy stuff that I like to go over. Will definitely put us at an hour 30. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run on back to... This zoo. Uh, next time that we jump on... If we jump on to Elden Ring again... I think I will try to um, do some research, find some better gear, um, find some better stuff to put on. I think we should be able to sit down and do Selen's, um quest line right now. I think because we can go up to the Volcano Manor, we can go talk to the one dude who gives us his um, magic ability. And then we should also be able to go uh, find the other hidden dude and go deal with him, with Selen. I think the only thing with the two of those is that I have to go kill um, Radigan. Radigan? Radon. I have to go kill Radon um, in order to progress Selen's quest. So I don't know how that's gonna go because we would have to kill Renala first because um, after you kill Renala that's when it spawns the ability to go fight Radon easily um, so next time I'm gonna do a little bit of research to see what kind of spells we can sit down and go grab real quick uh, I'm gonna probably at least go over what kind of um, quests I have started which ones are even worth bothering with because there's going to be a lot of quests in here that are just not going to be worth bothering with and not worth spending my time. Uh, I am just kind of doing this one for fun. To sit down and see what it would be like to sit and play the game with just magic stuff. Uh, technically, I can just respec my other character. Uh, but I don't know if you can turn my other caricature into a lady. So, uh, I, I just don't, I don't know if they let you do that in this game. Um, if they do, <laughs> but I don't know if they do, so... Um, we're just going to go ahead and leave our character alone as is. And hopefully we can go through the game and it'll actually have some challenge. Because that, that um, wolf guy, even though I beat him the second time I tried it, uh, it was actually decently challenging. It was actually a pretty decent challenge fighting the wolf. Um, and it probably might be pretty decently challenging fighting Renala. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I, Renala is really not the world's hardest thing to beat so maybe it won't be the worst thing to fight Renala, but we will have to see i'm also gonna have to see if i can find some better um just like armor and stuff but anyway we are getting up to about an hour and 30 minutes on elden ring i actually have streamed for quite a bit longer than i normally stream which i'm, I'm somewhat happy about uh but it is a little bit more than i normally do so i do kind of feel bad uh i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night here 
And we are going to do our send-off by talking about the big three things that I like to push and put pressure on. Uh, you know what the first one is. If you haven't had a chance, <laughs> go ahead and take, take the chance to stand up, walk around. Uh, it helps with a lot of just normal day-to-day -day kind of things. If you're sweaty, it gives you a chance to air out and, and get less sweaty, dry out a little bit. Um, if you've been sitting down for a long period of time, which if you've been watching my stream... Uh, for the last hour or so. It's about an hour's reminder to sit and stand up and walk around so that you can uh, potentially not get any kind of like blood clots in your legs and stuff. Uh, I have had a couple good stories with it. I think we're going to just call it quits as early as I can tonight just because it is getting pretty late. Um, so no stories tonight, unfortunately, but uh, big one is just that, uh, again, like truck drivers and stuff, even though they're sitting down for eight hours and that's what causes blood clots and stuff, they're still... A lot of good practical reasons to get up. Gives yourself a chance to stretch. Gives your blood a good chance to get all around your body. Uh, a lot of good things. Just a lot of good things. It, it gives you practical reasons to do certain things. Um, if you stand up, walk around, it'll give you a chance to look at all the trash that might be on your desk or around you. Uh, and it might give you a chance to, to feel at least inspired to sit down and take one or two of those items over to the trash can with you while you're getting up and walking around. The second thing that you could do, if you don't have any water nearby you uh, while you're getting up and walking around, you can take this opportunity to go get a drink of water. Yes, stay hydrated. I have water with, with me all the time when I stream. Uh, I talk like a maniac and I talk all the time. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm being somewhat semi-entertaining, I'm talking most of the time. <laughs> So I always indefinitely need some water next to me. Uh, I always have water next to me. Uh, I, I have told a couple of good stories about how I have almost had issues with hydration in my past. Uh, <laughs> and how I've struggled with hydration in the past. Uh, don't be like me. Sit down and take the chance, take the opportunity to get some water in you. Uh, again, I'm not your dad. I can't tell you what exactly to drink, but I could tell you... You should at least be trying to drink some water. <laughs> if, if you are drinking a bunch of other stuff, like sodas or what have you, I would implore, I would implore to have to drink some water instead. Uh, not, I'm not saying like drop, you know, like change your whole lifestyle, but just have some water. Just, just take this opportunity to drink some water instead of soda or whatever else you have nearby or next to you, you know, just take the opportunity to have some water. Uh, I've gotten in a good habit of having water next to me uh, if I have any kind of soda near me and it's and it's not like part of a meal um, where I'm like only going to be sitting down for 30 minutes, you know. Um, I always, if I have soda next to me for just day-to-day -day reasons, I always make sure I sit down and have some water next to me too because it's it's going to make you thirstier, ironically. And you're going to want something to kind of like wash out all the sugary stuff that gets stuck in your mouth and back of your throat and everything. So make sure you sit down and drink some water. It's the second big thing that I'm going to put pressure on. The third big thing that I'm going to sit down and put some pressure on. It's the big one. It's the one I really want people to pay attention to. Uh, even though I put pressure on all three of them, uh, I really want to put some extra emphasis and pressure on sleep. Sleep is an incredible part of your day-to-day it, it, if you can get your sleep down and right, you will your 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 whole situation is just gonna get that much better. Um, I don't know what you're personally going through, but I can tell you from a matter of fact that like when I sat down and was able to get my sleep schedules fixed and going, uh, it, it's a complete game changer. My life, 100% just changed indefinitely. Just changed indefinitely. Um, so it's just, it's just what it is. Just, tr just try your best to get some sleep. Uh, if, if you're staying up late for me, don't stay up late for me. You can always sit down and watch the VOD tomorrow. It will always be on here. It will always be on the platform. Uh, at least for a couple weeks, I am setting up currently to reattach my YouTube account to my Twitch account again so that I could just send the VODs over there and I will be connecting those and I will be pulling those up, um, here eventually. Uh, probably tonight, honestly. I might be able to just sign in and start sending over videos tonight. Um, some VODs. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to be hopefully doing that too. So 
there will always be a chance to watch more of me. And if it's something else that's going on in life or the world or whatever, you can wait till tomorrow. If it's not a do or die situation, like homework, or something for work work, where you're getting paid to, to sit down and be up late, um, put it off till tomorrow. Those tweets will be there tomorrow. Those YouTube videos will be there tomorrow. That video game will be there tomorrow. Right? Like, everything will be there tomorrow. Right? And if you get good sleep, you will enjoy those things significantly more if, you, if you're if you not tired. <laughs> so, you know. It's just, just an extra, extra sort of, like, momentary thing on that. But those are my three big things. Um, I will also say I have failed you. I have I have not had the chance to buy Kirby yet. Um, at this point, I am considering just sitting down and buying it digitally. Um, my brother is actively and constantly using his um, capture card. So I'm going to look over my finances and see if it's worth going and buying a capture card. I'm also going to have to look into, look into what kind of capture cards are good to get. Because everybody who I've ever watched or seen or done anything with regards to media with, they've always told me that Elgato is terrible. I don't know why that is. It seems like it's always the go-to thing to go buy. So I'm going to have to sit down and do some research and see which ones are better. If the only better option is to have a, like, like in the serial bus, like, card card that plugs into my motherboard... Um, I probably won't be able to go with that. I probably won't be able to do that because um, I don't I don't have a motherboard that's up to date to be able to hold two card slots. Believe it or not, it has two slots. It's just my the graphics card takes up both slots. <laughs> it's a, it's a very old computer. I have discussed it well into the past. It's an old Dell Inspiron that I I out of spite sat down and upgraded in a way that I felt was worthy of playing video games and doing schoolwork. So um, not really the best thing in the world. So I am going to have to sit down and look at my financials a little bit to see if I can sit and buy a capture card and Kirby so we can sit down and play that. So I do apologize. I have failed you in that regard. Um, I didn't have any time on my three days off to sit down and go buy it, unfortunately. Uh, I might have some time in the next week. I am not going to promise it this time, though. Uh, especially because I have to do that research into finding out which capture card's actually going to be worth my time. Uh, which one's actually going to be worth sitting down and purchasing and buying. Um, especially because, like, I am going to have to sit down and figure how much more I'm going to be streaming. Uh, and I have to figure out if I'm going to get this new position at work that I applied for. Uh, it would be a managerial position if I got it, right? And so, like, I might have to be available 24-7 because we have some remote employees on the team um, who are not always capable of being online at the same time, 9 to 5, where I live, you know? Like, across the world, I think. I think! I could be wrong, but I think. So, I might have to, ha I might have to be, like, available 24-7 in some regard to respond to people and like be available to people. So I don't 100% know what that's gonna look like. <laughs> um, if I get it, right? Like I might not even get it. So if I don't get that position and I'm able to figure out my car situation and I'm able to figure out um, the other car situation because we, st we still are waiting on the insurance to figure out with my parents' car. Um, and once all that all that gets figured out, once all those things get figured out, then capture card will definitely be in the running. It will definitely be something we could do. I also have a lot of other games on there that I would really love to stream, like Final Fantasy type games, um, which I absolutely love and have quite a level of nostalgia for. Um, and I haven't, even though I have a bunch of nostalgia for them, I haven't even beaten them. Right? Like, there's plenty of these Final Fantasy games that I own that I haven't even had the chance to complete, you know, on my Switch. So, that'll be a joy to sit down and, and kind of, like, play with you guys and, and enjoy and have a good time. So, look forward to that. 
Uh, I did see a couple of you guys drop by. I really do appreciate you guys coming by. I really love you guys sticking around, hanging around with me when I do all this, this nonsense and Elden Ring and play the game fresh and play it in New Game Plus and run all the way around the map and do all this nonsense. But I really do appreciate you guys stopping on by, especially you Thrax. Shout out to you Thrax. Dude, it, it is incredible seeing seeing people from years upon years ago uh, coming back and enjoying coming back and enjoying the stream. So, big shout out to my man Thrax there. Thrax forever 442. Big shout out to you, man. I, I love you hanging out. You always, you always post that fun little character. It's just he's got the little the little uh, wrench going on. I don't know, or Thrax. You gotta let me know I, if if it if that's just cute and fun, then thank you. Uh, if that means that there's something wrong with my stream, I would love to know. I've been watching the VODs and they seem like they're doing okay, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I've, I've been really enjoying it. I really do appreciate you guys for sticking around. Uh, we are definitely going to call it a night here. I have talked about Kirby. I've talked about my break. I have talked about what we're planning on maybe doing tomorrow. I think we're probably going to end up doing Apex tomorrow. I'll see what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, I did enjoy Fall Guys, weirdly enough, so maybe we'll make that a segment for the competitive segment to start out the night uh, from here going forward for a minute. So look forward to maybe some more Apex, maybe some more Fall Guys. I will update it um, before we get started. So if you would rather watch me play Apex, then I would, you know, actually, I will say that if you would rather me, if you'd rather watch me sit down and play Apex versus Fall Guys, let me know. I still love Apex well enough to sit down and and enjoy my time spending playing it. So <laughs> it, it's it's no skin off my bones if you guys would rather me play Apex than Fall Guys. Um, but it, if if nothing else happens, the likelihood of me playing Fall Guys is probably going to be pretty high, just because it's a new game. It's a new game. It's a new experience for me. So, uh, but yes, we're definitely we're definitely right here calling it a night. I just went over everything. Made sure I went over all my talking points. Um, so we're definitely going to be calling a night here, guys. I do really appreciate it again. I love you guys for all coming by. Make sure you get that sleep. I'm going to put pretty big pressure and stress on you guys getting good sleep. Uh, I need to get some good sleep tonight myself. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning so I can start my shift earlier so I can take my car over to get it fixed tomorrow, um, which is going to be its own series of situations, which I've talked about, but... Um, we're definitely going to call it here. Have a wonderful night. Get that sleep. Uh, have a fantastic day today. Have a fantastic day tomorrow. And take care, everybody.